So we've got some MCQs here in a job contract, a probation period could refer to a cycle where what? New workers reserve the right to receive salary increases. No, probation is when like you just kind of enter the job, you're getting a feel for it. You've got like two, three months and they're just going to assess like, are you a good fit? Do you think you're a good fit? And so on and so on. So yeah, if you're not a good fit, they could always change things up a little bit. So the answer here is going to be B. Um, they reserve the right to adjust the role of the workers. You don't receive all the full work benefits and probation. You're not like a full-time permanent employee just yet. Um, and they don't finalize the skills training of new workers. It's not finalization. They're actually in the workforce. A health rates, excuse me, a health related intervention program refers to a set of guidelines assessing healthy living. No, it's an intervention program. Research process, no. Strategy, no. This is an intervention program. We want to change something. It's not guidelines. It's not research. It's not strategy. We are targeting something here. We're targeting this change. So this is a set of activities targeting health risk factors. 1.1.3, public participation in a democracy is the process where what? Decisions are made on the views of local councillors? No. This is a democracy, just like in South Africa. And I'll talk an an autocracy, just one guy calling the shots, like in China with Xi Jinping or North Korea with Kim Jong-un. We're a democracy here, so we're allowed to say things. So it has something to do with the citizens. So it's either going to be B, it's either going to be C. It can't be D. It's not about powerful individuals holding meetings, no. So citizens providing feedback on decision-making to influence government policies, maybe that one. Citizens sharing views with others on social media platforms, immediately, no. The answer by default now is just going to be B. So we can use a bit of process of elimination here. Next, 1.1.4. Writing a reflection on a project should mainly focus on what? A detailed description of the objectives of the topic? Um, no, it's it's a reflection. Okay, so it's what we, we learned about it. The advantages, no, it's how the task enhanced our knowledge, how we grew as individuals. So the answer is definitely going to be C here. Again, it can't be a detailed description. It just it just cannot. We're, we're reflecting. Okay, so some English knowledge there would help a little bit. 1.1.5. When a question instructs you to illustrate your answer with a case study, you are then expected to what? Illustrate your answer with the case study? you need to refer to the examples that they utilized, okay? We're illustrating, we're giving examples from the context, from the case study, whatever it is. So the answer here is gonna be A. If you're illustrating, you're not giving a detailed analysis or making judgments or summarizing, we always go to examples. Nice study skills question there.